Hi, everybody. Today we will watch in touch the workstation from HP something 4600. It appeared in 2006 and included top video cards and video quadro, which from here someone long ago whistled. Here it is, the legendary sticker. Core 2 Duo, that's cool processor for work, not like Risen. This is the outer cover of the case, the entire case is a thick layer of metal, which is still a thick layer of metal and in some places a thick layer of metal with thickenings. In its original form, this PC weighs 19 kilograms. But the inner part of it. There are two IDE discs, connoisseurs of Gucci culture will appreciate, master and slave, sounds like one famous book, hello to Bulgik of fans. From here. There is still a 200 gig disk with unknown health. Instead of a Quadro, there is a GE Force 210, a 3 pipe tower on the processor, and there is also a cool motherboard and 4 memory bars, each for 512 meters. What happened to this workstation? Old age came to her, or rather it came to the power supply, which was without any protection and was held inside by glue and clamps. This electric slat died on its own and killed a 200 gigabytes HDD, and it also broke the upper PCI Express for sure, so the card sticks out of the lower one, which is PCI Express X4, version 2 and 0. And here is the box assembly. The hard drive was not so dead, Victoria gave a report that it has only 17 slow blocks of 256 kilobytes each, a total of some 4 megabytes of not even damaged but just slow space. By the way, one 4K photo weighs about 4 megabytes. In general, the disk is alive and healthy and warms up to 50 degrees. Crystal disk mark shows the speed of our disk at the level of 50 megabytes per second, better than a USB 2 and 0 flash drive, but it lags far behind the modern 5400 disks. In order not to do anything from a computer that has only 2 gigs of RAM, we will roll Windows from Xeon, we will have Windows 10 LTSC, markup on the disk, MBR, for easy launch with BIOS, not FE systems. 10 is better than 7 because you can move the disk with Windows from one computer to another without prior preparation. Behind the scenes, it turned out that the second and third RAM slots died, so we have a gig of memory, by the way, Windows in idle time eats about 1 gigabyte. And apparently we ran out of memory, and the computer stopped responding to anything at all, a static image on the screen, the mouse and keyboard does not respond, the blue screen does not knock out. I have a pair of 2 gig slats of the DDR2 type, obviously serviceable, and with 2 slats in the 1st and 4th slot, the computer refused to turn on, started only with a slat in the 4th slot. I looked behind the scenes in the task manager. RAM consumption was less than 900 megabytes, but after I put the internet cable, everything froze as before. Obviously, there are problems with the motherboard controllers. The workstation test failed. Let's at least test the video card from it. I took out my first computer, here I have a Stumpy 5200, 4 gigs DDR2 800 and GE Force 210, this is not GTX or even GT just GE Force. Here is some information from memory, here is the benchmark CPU Z, 425 and 211, a very decent option for a multimedia PC, half of the processors in modern office laptops are weaker than this one. 10 and a half thousand in the CPU queen. Now please remove the screens on children, people with weak mentality and AMD boys. In principle, one and the same. Cache and memory test. 6 gig read, 4200 write, 4600 copy, 105 nanosecond delay. The cache speed is, uh, very low, and the third level cache hasn't been invented yet. The board here is from MSI P35, you can put E5450 and win for example in standoff 2. And purely for the sake of interest, the GPU test. I can't pay for every figure. But gigaflops are a bit slower than teraflops, which are usually spoken about on various respected sources. But there is one absolutely clear figure, 16 cores. By the way, my 1030 has 384 of them, in the top video cards their number has exceeded 2000. 
It would seem that this test card could be finished, but let's try at least something to play. The record will be from hand, but without loss of productivity. Let's start with the good stuff. Counter Strike Source, Full HD, everything is low except for textures, we still have 512 meters of DDR2 video memory. And here we get an even FPS with a variable focus on the percentage, then the map. It keeps around 50 frames. The next game on the test is Modern Warfare 3. Game. Showed space performance in 4K here in this video. HD, everything is at a minimum. FPS is kept in the region of 40, fire and smoke sometimes drain it to 30, all questions to the video card. A game that can be called GTA 3 for children, Simpsons Hit and Run, the highest resolution for 2003, ultra settings, hair works included. And here we have a great FPS with a focus on the GPU, you can comfortably drive sideways on your pink Cadillac, damn, the smoke from the car dropped our FPS below 30 frames. Yes, and okay, but this game does not crash as on many top PCs now. That was the end of the good stuff. In short, while I'm running Minecraft, I'll show you the tower that stood in the HP workstation. Here is such a crooked garbage with three tubes and legs screwed directly into the case. Theoretically, it can be put on any socket, at least on Intel, if you find the necessary hardware and fasten them from the bottom of the tower. In Minecraft, all animation is turned off, drawing 8 chunks, HD resolution. And then we had a dump of FPS, the percentage sweats over the world as it can. Sometimes it gets a little better, but then it gets worse again, just like life in Russia. Vo vo vo, it seems the world is loaded, well, now we will drag. But not, it seemed. In general, Minecraft is going terribly, but you won't believe me, because I don't believe myself because at the last launch I received 30 FPS with an emphasis on the map. Now the game is 2009 from Convir Soft, Assassin 2. 800 by 600, everything on minimum. And here on a closed location we get 10 FPS with drops up to 20. What will happen next, I'm afraid to imagine. And another game from Ubisoft, Far Cry 3. 800 on 600, all on low. The menu does not lag, the cinematics does not lag, we hold our fists so that we have a playable FPS. And here we are shown the middle finger. 10 frames is a long way from at least 20. And now the second warning. People who are sick of Among Us, please turn off this video. And as you understand, we will be playing Among Us. Grafen on full HD. And here we have a lock at 30 FPS, the processor is resting. The map is loaded by half. And what is interesting here I noticed, the game is in the DirectX 11 mode. Why, and most importantly how? After all, the map has a DirectX 10 and 1 edge. The next day, I transferred a couple of light games to the external hard, but they only go to DirectX 11, and you won't believe it. The mother turned into oak. It turns on, there is no image from the video card. There are no sound effects of passing the BIOS and entering the windows in the form of changing the fan noise. The speaker is silent. Good game, well played. By the time of the release of this video, I have not solved this problem, write in the comments if you have any ideas on this. Shrek was with you, and I wish you only to tinker with new hardware. Bye.